Speaking, how are you? Hey, what's up? It's Chris Weber. What's going on, buddy? How are you doing? Nothing much. I, I got, I'm not, I don't have that much time. About 15 minutes of driving to the gym. Is that all right? That's fine. That's perfect. Awesome. All right, cool. Well, first off, my Uncle Steve said to say hi. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Your Uncle Steve, that's awesome. Yeah, good. Yeah, tell him I said hi, too. <laughs> Will do. Uh... Where did you decide to bring your training and open up camp to prepare for your battle against Jesse Bongfeld? Hey, hang on one second. I'm sorry. Hang on. Hello? I'm here. Yep, sorry about that. That's okay. Um, right. Yeah, so I train at uh, Ray Longo's and I train at Matt Terra's Academy. Okay. Sometimes, kind of, kind of great shit in the city. But that's basically it. Alright. Is there anything you're looking to improve or add to your arsenal from the last fight as some sort of martial arts form that you looking to upgrade and take to the next level for, against your opponents? Uh, uh, yeah, pretty much, uh, pretty much for this fight, the kind of fight, I think it's just pretty much well-rounded, so I'm just training everything normal, you know, everything equally uh, as important, you know. Awesome. Um, nothing crazy. So, uh, after, if you, after this fight, if you come out with a victory, uh, who's the next opponent you see yourself maybe uh, fighting? Uh, I mean, I have no idea. That's up to the UFC. Um, it could be. I, I see myself probably stepping up another level. Yeah. As far as as far as uh as a fighter, I mean, uh, I was looking at some of the bigger name guys already after my last fight because Alexis Jessicaro was a pretty big name. Uh, but. Um, they give me Jesse Bonfield, so it's, it's really, I'm not in a rush, I'm not in a rush to really find anybody big, but I'm not opposed to it either. So you're not looking past this fight against Jesse Bonfield, but you're not look not in particularly looking towards anyone, um, per se, but you're willing to take upon any challenge the UFC may place upon you and bring a physical war to them inside the octagon? Yeah, I mean... I can jump. I'm I'm alright. I'm good to jump. Uh, jump jump up too. I have no problem with that either. But uh, I'll just do whatever the UFC wants me to do. I'm not gonna do this. Awesome. Whatever they think. So, uh, after a fight and in your debut fight, do you have any like uh, jitters or anything like that? Like kind of all out of the way now that you got your first UFC fight out of the way. Yeah, I mean. I mean, I have met Sarah Rilano as my coaches, so they, they kind of let me know what I, what to expect as far as the crowd and the fans and uh, the music and everything. The whole atmosphere of being in the UFC, they let me you know, know, but it's nothing like when you're actually there. So as much guidance as, as I had, um, you're not 100%, um, you know, just going to be totally used to it. Like, it's anything else. It's definitely different. So um, definitely got some jitters, but, yeah, it's going to help a lot that I've done it once before, and I kind of know exactly what to expect now. Cool. So, um, is it, uh, a lot of other sites have anointed you as, like, the next uh, the next sports big star. Uh, does that add any pressure to you, or? Nah. Nah, I don't. I got into the sport to be the next big star, and so if I, if people are saying that about me, that's what I already expected. I'm not doing it for any other reason. Awesome. It's to be the best and to be a standout. So uh, I'm not. It doesn't put any other pressure on me. I already put up myself to be just through the start of the sport. So. All right, sweet. Yeah. So um, Matt, Sarah, and all of them are going to be in your uh, corner. You said. Yep. Pretty badass. Matt, badass. Matt, Matt, Sarah, Ray Longo, and Terry Madden actually. All right. Do you have a game plan or a strategy you plan on bringing into uh, your opponent, Jesse Bong Felt? Uh, yeah, but I can't give that strategy away. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you being able to give me a few minutes of your time. Yeah, man, no problem. Well, no problem. Take care. Yeah, and I, cool. wish you... I appreciate you doing this with me. Well, I appreciate everything. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. Take care. Take care. Good luck. Yeah, thank you.